What's going on, everybody? Kwaku here, bring you another video. This just in from on Microsoft via Windows Central or the other way around. If you've heard of Project Astoria, which was in the past a year ago or two years ago, I'm not sure exactly. Uh, Microsoft had a way, in fact, right here highlighted, Microsoft had a way to uh, pretty much use Android apps on Windows, but they trashed it because if you remember closely, if you followed it closely, that is roughly when Microsoft was pushing developers and was paying developers quite a large amount to create native apps, UWP or Universal Windows platform apps on the Windows Store, now called the Microsoft Store. But that didn't go into fruition because there's rumors that it's because the reason why Project Astoria did not go through is because it worked too well. That's what a lot of people were thinking. Not sure exactly if that's what they thought, but that's what I kind of think. It worked too well. Now, fast forward to now, 2020, and supposedly going to come out 2021. Right here, says Microsoft may be working on bringing Android apps to Windows 10 Microsoft Store next year, which is a report from Windows Central's Zach Bowden which is called Project Latte internally. Now, what that means essentially is, in fact, it doesn't really mean too much, honestly. It, it really just means that we could be getting Android apps on Windows because as you know, on the, here on the Microsoft Store, we don't have native, we don't, we don't have first party apps. We don't have a lot of them. We have first party apps, but we don't have a lot of them. So it'd be nice that we would get more apps on Windows because if you think, Apple with M1, they brought pretty much iOS apps over to Mac. Um, Google already has on their Chromebooks and obviously their Android phones, but their Chromebooks, uh, the Chromebooks are on full Google Play services, which apparently Windows won't get. Um, but I'll get to that in a little bit. But Chromebooks can run Android apps as well. Uh, and whether they run well, who knows? But they run well. I mean, they run on Android, on Chromebooks. So Windows, there's rumors of Microsoft trying to bring Android apps over to Windows, which would be very interesting, again, because we don't have too many apps. Imagine being able to uh, use your Surface camera for some reason uh, and upload to Instagram without using a third-party app that enables that feature. That would be a cool thing to do. Now, what they're saying here, though, is that it says here it is unlikely that Project Latte will include support for Play services as Google doesn't allow Play services installed on anything other than native Android devices and Chrome OS, which means that any apps that pretty much require Play services to run won't work for Windows, probably unless they're tweaked. So unfortunately, that will probably be the case. But any apps that do not require play services could potentially run via project astoria right there so it's pretty cool that um we could be getting or project latte rather it's pretty cool that we could be getting android apps on windows sometime next year now if another thing that you might not remember it's about a couple weeks ago um there's there's a lot of there's there's release from windows directly or microsoft directly is you know a visual overhaul for uh, Windows. Who knows how you know crazy this visual overhaul will be, but there's a lot of plans for Windows in 2021. It almost feels like the year of Windows in a way. At first, we thought Windows was just kind of put to the side, but it looks like because of Panos Panay leading that area, we could be seeing better and better Windows devices. Now, going back into Project Latte, though, uh, there's an interesting thing. I was reading the comments of uh, Windows Central's comments, and someone was talking about how Surface Neo, uh, if you haven't seen that video about me talking about Surface Neo, you can go watch it. I'll show you guys in that little information corner in your top right screen. But Surface Neo runs Windows 10X. Now, Surface Neo is more mobile, is a more mobile-based OS, kind of like Chromebook, right? Chrome OS. Now, imagine, imagine if you could literally run Android apps on, you know, Surface Neo, just like how you can run Android apps on Surface Duo right now, the one that I have, imagine on Surface Neo, much bigger size, two 8-inch or so screens, if I can remember correctly. That would be pretty amazing, right? That would be pretty amazing. So it would be pretty cool that, you know, we are getting a whole bunch of things 
uh, we could be getting a whole bunch of things trying to run Android apps on Windows. And it seems like it makes sense because obviously Microsoft's mobile strategy doesn't work out too well for them ever. You know, Surface Duo was an exception. It's working all right, but it's still it was still kind of a flop, even though a lot of people talked about it. A lot of influencers talked about it. I talked about it. I have it. But Surface Neo, you know, we could be able to run Android apps on it and it'd be pretty cool. Because imagine, you know, full-fledged Android apps, obviously Android apps on tablet size screens kind of are terrible. They kind of just look like really stretched out phone apps. But I guess maybe with this push, maybe we can get better Android tablet apps because, you know, Surface Neo, folding devices, folding tablets could be coming next year, which would be cool. Can't wait for the day Microsoft releases a Surface folding tablet. That would be pretty dope. So, but yeah, just a quick video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. We could be getting Android apps on um, on Windows, and it could be cool. It says here, actually, before I go, it says, however, the question of Google Play Services API that surfaced with Project Astoria on Windows 10 Mobile many years ago still remains. So before I go, the one thing I missed out here, it says, with Android being a Linux-based system, uh, Zach Bowden says that Project Latte is likely to be powered for the Windows subsystem for Linux, or WSL, uh, though Microsoft will still need to create its own Android subsystem to make Android apps run on Windows 10. But I'm sure they have that handled. They have a big enough team. They've they've done it before, you know, kind of before, and it worked. It felt like people were saying that it kind of works too well. So let's see if they can do it again. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty dope. Another reason for people to, you know, pick Windows uh, for their platform if they use Android. You already have your phone integration where you can stream Android apps from your phone to your Windows device, and it works pretty well. Now soon you'll be able to just run those apps natively on Windows or close enough natively on Windows. So that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, let me let me stop rambling and let you guys take care. Uh, happy Black Friday, everybody. This is recorded on November 27th, 2020. Just a quick video. You're not going to see my face. You'll see my face next week. Uh, yeah, take care, everybody.